Now, you might just recognise my next guest from Hogwarts. Uh, James Phelps played Fred Weasley in the Harry Potter films, but if you do need a reminder, here you go. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Messrs Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot and Prongs are proud to present the Marauder's Map. We owe them so much. Hang on. This is Hogwarts. And that... no. Is that really... Dumbledore. In his study. I've got one of those Willy Bunnets, in fact. Uh, and James is here now to tell us about running in the weekend's London Marathon uh, to raise money for endometriosis research and support. James, lovely to have you on the programme. Thank you for having me. Um, I, I suppose we probably should start with, with what exactly endometriosis is. And I know that this is something that you've had a bit of personal connection through through your wife, Annika. Yeah, um, so my wife, Annika, suffers with endometriosis, as does one in ten women in the mm. UK and around the world. Um, but I learned only 68% of men know anything about it. And... It, it takes eight years for a diagnosis, and I just really want to help raise money for Endometriosis UK because they help support people who are going through this, but also just raise awareness. And, and it, it, I guess it always used to be one of those things, it's just ladies, lady problems. Yes. Whereas there needs to be more known about it, and then more, uh, more help can be given. Well, so for, 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 for many men, this is something that they will have maybe heard of, overheard perhaps. Yeah. So in terms of the symptoms, and we're looking at them right now, I mean, they, they, it can involve an awful lot of pain for the women who are suffering from it. Yeah, chronic pain. And it's, like, it is technically a disease as well. So, um, and it's, it's, you know, it, people are learning more and more about it all the time. Um, I think more men know, know more about it in recent months because... Like Leah Williamson from the Lionesses yeah. came up with it. Uh, Emma Hayes, the Chelsea manager, uh, talks about it as well. So it's it's getting more out there. But I really just wanted to to try and shed light on it and hopefully break down any taboos that it's a, a lady problem and get everyone involved in the conversation. Because that, that is the thing, and as you say, th things have substantially changed over the course of my of your lifetime, let alone the course of my lifetime. But when, when it comes to, you know, just being rather more aware of, you know, men being rather more aware of women's health and, and women's health issues. But but in terms of there, there still being a taboo, do you think it is because men are not asking the right questions? Do you think it's because women are perhaps not, not, not answering those questions? Or is it just that, you know, we haven't been interested enough in this stuff? I, I think it's, you're, you're only... Uh, what's what's presented? So, I, to be honest with you, I probably only would have known about it because of Annika's, um, mm. my, my wife's going through it. And the reason I'm doing the London Marathon for it is because during lockdown, I was doing like a lot of people a lot of running, mm -hmm. and I did a half marathon just on my own, and I literally couldn't walk. I couldn't get up the stairs. Mm -hmm. At the same time, Annika was going through a flare-up, and she couldn't do the same thing. And it literally took me half a marathon to feel like she had, and she just woke up with it. Um, but to answer your question, I think it may just be just education and what, like I say, from years ago, how it wasn't, it just wasn't talked about. Is there any form of treatment available for the, for the pain that these women are experiencing? There is, um, but there's no cure. So you could have, uh, a lady could have 10 operations and it will just remove the endo but it's not going to cure the chronic pain. Mm. And, you know, I'd love to think that in our lifetime a cure could be given or, or at least more more help can be given for it. In terms of, obviously, I mean, uh, you're, you're running for Endometriosis UK and, you know, there, there are other organisations that work in this area. But but does, does Endometriosis Research receive the amount of funding from, from central government, from other sources that, that, you know, oncology does and other perhaps more high-profile illnesses do? Uh, well, if it takes... Eight years to diagnose, probably not, yeah. um, is my political answer. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I can't give no. for that one. But no. I, I'm, I'd, I'd say that um, you know, the more research that's done, obviously not just in the UK but around the world, mm -hmm. uh, can only help. Tell me then a little bit about running in the marathon. I mean, you could have done anything else. You could have had a bring and buy sale. You could have made some cakes. You could have auctioned off that woolen bonnet from, uh, from the film. Instead, you've decided to run around London in what looks like it might actually be quite decent, maybe even hot weather. I mean, you ready for it? Uh, I'll see. Uh, so, <laughs> Sorry. Basically, I've been, I've, my brother and I have been filming second season of our travel series. And so I've been doing literally 20K runs mm. in, in Melbourne, in mm. Patagonia. So I've been trying to keep up my training, um, but I just want to get through it. I'm not bothered about a time. Uh, well, look, I will put all the links um, out to the, the fundraising and Endometriosis UK out on our social later on. But um, James, pleasure to have you on the sofa and Thanks. best of luck. 
Thanks I think so you much. May, I'm sure you don't need it. I'm okay. sure you don't. Thanks so much.